Goma. <laughs> Wenda, I thought we'd agreed you'd let me get some excess sleep for these two weeks Goma. while we're on holiday. Goma. Play. Play. It's still Play. so early, Mwenda. Okay, okay. But let's start with breakfast first. Okay. <laughs> go back, go back, play. Can you guys keep it down? Sleeping is one of the best parts of being on holiday. Tell me about it. <laughs> you guys are up early. Wanda woke me up. She still doesn't get that we're on holiday. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I'm glad you're up. Can you please help me with preparing breakfast? I need to go to the market to get a few things. Sure. Thank you. And watch your sister if you're going to have her here. It might be a bit too cold to have her outside without her sweater. But you know, this television is brand new and we saved up a lot to be able to afford it. Okay. Great. I'll get going then. You know what they say. The early bird catches the worm. Mwenda, stay here. I'm going to put the kettle on outside and we'll be right back. Mwenda, be careful. Play. Okay, but only this once because we can't go play outside just yet. And we have to wait for the water to boil. Let me step back a bit. Yay! <laughs> okay, throw the ball to me. Nice! Good job. Now, let me go a little further back. What happened? Wenda broke the TV. Uh-oh. Baraka, stay with Wenda and keep her away from the broken glass as I go get the broom to sweep up. Hey, Koba. Can I get some help, please? Wenda broke the TV. What? What happened? I was gone for just a second to put the kettle on. Then I hear the shattering noise and I go inside and she was standing next to it with the ball. I worked so hard to save for it, and it's still brand new. What a loss. I'll make it right, Mother. I'll get us a new TV. Thank you, Koba. But it's not that easy. I still had to pay a few more installments to finish paying it off. Now, I'll be paying for something that's not there anymore. Mwenda must really be growing strong to throw the ball that hard, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. If only you could talk, Mwenda. <sighs> it's a beauty, isn't it? You're looking at the camera, right? Yes. I was saving up for it, but now I need to buy something else. Oh, what do you need to buy now? That looks good too. It does, but I don't have enough money to buy it. You know, if you want things but can't afford them, you can always steal them, right? No, that's wrong. Hey, Koba. Why the long face? I'm not having the best day. I let my mother down and making it up to her requires a lot of money that I don't have. I have been saving some money from our savings club, but it's not enough. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. How are you? How's business going? Not too well. I've been making a loss. We haven't gotten a good piece to show in a long time. I'm hoping to get a good video soon that the people of Kokotoa will want to watch. I'm sorry to hear that as well. Hey, have you thought about earning money? Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. I could do something to make the money, but what can I do? I'm just a kid. Koba, are you coming to the Utu Club meeting? 
Oh, yeah. Well, let's get going so we don't run late. Good luck, Mr. J. Hope you find a great video soon. Thank you, Koba. Good luck to you, too. Hello, everyone. I hope we're all enjoying our holiday. You know, I've been thinking, now that we have more free time, I was wondering if we can do something to celebrate Utu in Kokotoa. Very nice. But what can we do? Let's have an Utu party. We can give out awards, too. Yes, to show our appreciation to their Utu ways. And if people share their act of Utu, others can learn from them too. I know exactly how to do that. I can film them in their acts of Utu and interview them. Then we can show the video to all Kokotoers right before we give them the award. Yes. Wow. Nice. And as an act of Utu, we can show the video at the video banda and charge a small fee for people to see it so we can help Mr. J make some money as well. He said his business has been struggling a bit. Okay, agreed. We will host an Utu party to celebrate Utu and we will have it at the video banda area so that Koba can showcase his video. Yes, I that's a that. great idea. Mr. J, Mr. J, I have a business proposal for you. If we showcase a video we make about Utu here at the Banda and have people pay a small amount to see it, would you be willing to split the money we make with me? Interesting. Are you sure people will show up to see it? Yeah. We'll have the party outside and have them watch the video as part of the party. Plus, because we'll be shooting it here in Kokotoa, the people of Kokotoa will definitely want to see it. Wow. That's a great idea. Sounds like a good partnership to me. How much do you usually charge for people to watch a video in here? 250 Kokotoa shillings. But because it's a party, I'll make it 200 Kokotoa shillings. Perfect. Now I just have to make sure I make the best video. Let me go and do my maths to see how many people will need to attend for me to make enough money for a new TV. See you soon, partner. Okay, Mama Dege. Let's start by telling us how you show Utu to other people, okay? Easy peasy! I show Utu by cooperating with others, having empathy, being generous, and, you know, from when I was a little girl, I always really showed her, you know, let me tell you this one. I mean, I could go on and on, but you want to give people the basics so they get it, you know? Hello? Hello? Yeah, oh, that was great, Mama Dege. You surely do a lot. People will be inspired by you. Uh, are you sure you have enough for me? I had to cut out a lot because of Oh, time, this is you know? more than enough. Thank you so much. See you at the party. Okay, bye. Oh, no. What's wrong? My footage is all blurry. I don't know what happened. What a waste of time. Well, it is an old camera, Koba. When was the last time you used it? I don't know, but what I do know is that this quality of footage will make people demand their money back. And that's totally opposite of what I want. So what will you do? I don't know. I don't have enough money to buy a new camera right now. Hey, I remember Kiduchu saying her brother Kolo has a camera. Why didn't you pay him a visit? Yes, you're right. We'll have to do that the first thing tomorrow morning. Hey, Koba. What brings you here so early in the morning? Business. Is Kolo around? Yes, he is. Hmm, must be some serious business. Let me get him. Have a seat. I like waking up for business. What do you have for me? <laughs> Well, do you still have a camera? Yes, I do. Do you want to borrow it? Yes, please. My camera is acting up and I don't have enough time to go fix it or enough money to get a new one. So, may I please borrow yours for the week and I can pay you 3,000 Kokotoa shillings for it. Is the video for the Utu party? Yes! <laughs> How can I say no to that? Just take care of it, okay? I will. Thank you so much. What's that? My financial planning papers. You know, I have to keep track of where I'm spending my money so that I make sure I reach my financial goals. That's really good. Here you go. 
It was nice doing business with you, Colo. Sure. I'll bring back the camera as soon as I'm done. All the best. Good morning, Zekigo. Aha! Koba! Just on time. Welcome. Thank you. And thank you for agreeing to do the interview. Of course. Let me go put my best shirt on. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'll start setting up. Seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand. This is more than what I need to get a TV. Kolo must have forgotten this money in here. Would he know if I took it? How is this? Will I look good in your video? It's really nice. Let's begin, shall we? Zekigo, what principle of Utu do you value the most? Uh, integrity. It means always being truthful even when no one is around. It's not always easy to do that. But people being able to trust you and count on you is one of the best things. Thank you so much, Mzekigo. I've learned so much about integrity and why it's a valuable aspect of Utu. See you at the party! Welcome to Kokotoa's first ever Utu celebration. Very nice. We wanted to have this party to keep the spirit of Utu alive here in Kokotoa. We will show what others do to keep it alive and we will also celebrate them by giving awards. We hope that will inspire everyone to have conversations about Utu and to learn from one another. With that said, our video is ready. Please start by paying for the tickets here with Mr. J and come inside. That was so good. Good job, Koba. I'm so inspired to have more empathy. Definitely more sharing for me. We did it. The band was sold out. I'm going to the award ceremony and we'll be back to get my share from you after. Thank you for agreeing to this, Mr. J. You're welcome. I'll count what we made and prepare your share. Here you go. That's your share. Z 
least 4,000 shillings? I thought we made more. There were so many people. It did seem that way, but we only made 8,000 shillings. So 4,000 shillings for me and 4,000 shillings for you. I'll go lock up inside. What's wrong, Koba? Your video did so well today. You should be celebrating. That's what I thought too, but turns out we didn't make enough money as I hoped we would. Huh? What do you mean? I know the banda was sold out. I thought the same thing too. Do you know how many people bought tickets? I don't know. Mr. J was in charge of that. Koba, as a businessman, you should always keep track of your finances. One day, when I visited Mzekigo, he was keeping track of his income and costs to know if he made a profit or loss. Profit or loss? Yes, Baraka. Profit is when you make more money than what you spent. And loss is when you make less money than what you spent. Oh! I do keep track of my finances, Kibana. Here, have a look. This is my income column, meaning money I already had or made. This is my cost column, meaning money I had to pay people or buy things. This is my balance column, which is money remaining after subtracting my costs from my income. This column is what tells me if I made profit or a loss. Okay, so how much money did you have before making the video, Koba? Before making or spending any money, I had 6,000 Kokoto shillings for my savings club. I had to pay Kolo 3,000 Kokoto shillings to borrow his camera. So, 6,000 Kokoto shillings subtract 3,000 Kokoto shillings leaves 3,000 Kokoto shillings. With 3,000 Kokoto shillings left, I paid 200 Kokoto shillings to everyone that I interviewed to thank them for their time and sharing their stories. I interviewed 10 people, so it means I paid a total of 2,000 Kokoto shillings to interview everybody. If I subtract that from the 3,000 Kokoto shillings I had left, it means I was left with 1,000 Kokoto shillings. Were those the only costs you had in making the video? Yes. Then that means by paying 3,000 shillings to Kolo and 2,000 shillings to the people you interviewed, you used a total cost of 5,000 Kokotoa shillings to make the video. And if you made 4,000 Kokotoa shillings from the ticket sales today, it means you got a balance of 4,000 subtract 5,000 negative 1,000. That means you made a loss, Koba. But that is if and only if Mr. J was truthful about the ticket sales. But how can I know that? I'll just have to believe he has the integrity and was telling me the truth. Wait! We can easily go and count the number of seats inside. That should give us an idea. Yes, we can do that. Let's go! Did you forget something in here? No. We're here to count the number of seats. We think you're not giving our friend his right share of the money that you made tonight. What makes you think that? Well, for starters, there are a hundred chairs in here. Ten rows and ten columns. That is ten times ten, which is a hundred. And if everyone paid two hundred shillings, that means that you made... 200 times 100, which is 20,000 shillings. And to split that between two people would mean you each get 10,000 shillings. Not 4,000. Wow, you guys are good. Why would you do that to me, Mr. J? I came up with the idea to help us both. I'm sorry, Koba. I got greedy. Business has been bad for so long. I didn't know when I'd next sell as many tickets as I sold today. If you had acted with integrity, this wouldn't have been the last time you sold out. People loved Koba's video. 
He could have made some more and always showcased them here. You could have been the best video banda in the whole of Kokotoa. But now we can't trust you anymore. We will take our business elsewhere and your fear of not selling as much anymore will come true. To think that we just celebrated Utu here today and you don't act with integrity. Can I please have the rest of my share? I'm sorry, Koba. So, Koba, did you make a profit or a loss today? Yes, what did you make? According to my expense tracking sheet, I spent 5,000 Kokotoa shillings making the video, so making 10,000 shillings made I made a profit of 5,000 Kokotoa shillings. Whoa, that's a big profit. Thank you guys. Make sure you're always tracking your spending too and making decisions that only make you profit. True. True. Good morning, Kolo. Good morning, Mr. Superstar. Great job on the video. I really enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. It won't have been possible without you. Here's a camera, safe and sound. By the way, I think you forgot something important in the bag. Whoa, I didn't know I left it in here. I've been saving to go film school after high school. Like you, I want to serve Kokotoa through filmmaking and this will allow me to do that. <laughs> but wait, you needed the money, right? Why didn't you take it? I'm learning to have integrity, you know? Doing the right thing, even if no one is around. As an Utu club member, I have to act with Utu even when no one is watching. Now, I know by doing that, I have helped my community by allowing you to go to film school. Hmm, that's inspiring. Thank you. Now, I need to go fix one more thing that I messed up by not having integrity. Is this your shop? Yes, welcome. Then why would you suggest I steal? I do that to spot people without the best intentions who lurk outside my shop. But I am proud of you for coming to purchase the TV the right way. Some people do steal, and that causes a loss of my business. Continued losses would force me to close my shop, and that means you wouldn't have a shop to come to get your cameras and televisions. It also means that I wouldn't be able to feed my family. Wow, I didn't know my actions might affect so many people in different ways. That's because we're all connected, and that is what Utu is all about. So it's always best to act with integrity. Integrity is a big part of having Utu. I totally understand that now. May I please get the brand new television? Is that a new TV? It is. I'm afraid I was not honest with you the other day. Wanda did not break the TV. I did. I knew it! I am so sorry. I've learned my lesson about being a person with integrity at all times, and I worked hard to earn enough money to replace the TV because I know how hard you work to get the other one. Wow. I'm glad you learned your lesson, Koba. I hope you'll continue to always be a person with integrity. Now, let's watch the TV together, because I surely missed it. <laughs> <laughs> this week, there are two things for you to do in your Utu clubs. First, tell your friends about a time where you had to act with integrity. Talk about this with each other. Then, just like the Ubongo kids made a video to teach their community about Utu, you can teach your community about Utu too. Plan a way to share what you've been learning with other children and teachers at your school. Remember, integrity is doing the right thing even if no one else is around. It can be a situation where doing the wrong thing is so tempting, but you still decide to do the right thing. Like our friend.
friends have learned about integrity and are choosing it in every situation. And that is Utu, friends! You can register your Utu Club via WhatsApp to connect with Ubongo Kids and receive discussion questions, activities, and more for your club. To register through WhatsApp, add this number to your contacts. Plus 1234-900-1234 and then send the word Utu to our Ubongo chat. That's plus 1234-900-1234. Then select Utu from the menu that you receive. We can't wait to hear from you. Never miss out on new Ubalgo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubalgo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubalgo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubalgo Kids family.